for those of you who have been directed to this site or for some reason have accidentally stumbled upon it and have no idea who I am, my name is Duffy Sheridan and I'm a painter. You know, for a number of years I receive emails and other correspondence from, from artists all over the world who uh, are aspiring to to put their creative instincts to use and they you know they want to be painters they want to be sculptors and and they don't really know where to start and it's my hope that that through this particular avenue here I can help to or I, you know I can assist in answering some of these inquiries I know how important uh, a question that is, and how how needful it is to to know what the process is. What is what's it take to uh, to pursue an art career, especially a fine arts career? And uh, so, hopefully, we'll be able to to do that. I thought the first thing that we would do is maybe to show you what my little work environment is like. Wherever we've lived in the world, it seems within a few months that my studio space looks exactly like it did in some other corner of the planet, uh, which suggests that I have a particular way of uh, working and, or, and enjoying to work. And one of the main things that I do is I have my studio in my home. I don't need a particularly large space, so pretty much any decent sized space works for me. As you can see here, I keep a number of works in progress going at the same time. A lot of times I get stymied at certain places during a particular painting and I'm not necessarily sure how I want to proceed, so I, uh, I put it on the wall until hopefully I become inspired enough with it to, to have some understanding of how I'm going to resolve the problems. So I'm surrounded constantly by the works that I'm doing in progress. Usually when I immediately finish a painting, uh, it has to go out for, for the galleries. But until then, I, I uh, keep everything on the walls here. But although I say that I don't require a great deal of space, for a studio, I do need enough space that on each side of my easel I have room for models and my paraphernalia. I always keep mannequins and tables uh, available and close to me so that I can put all the necessary stuff on the mannequins and because I, I try as often as, I, as possible to uh, paint from the real thing. I certainly see much better and, uh, and, I'm, much, and I'm much more capable of painting things from, from life. I can see them better. Uh, so I do have that requirement of space, but that doesn't take all that much. Um, so, but I, I, I won't go into that too deeply right now. That's a question for another time. We'll, we'll talk about uh, how I do work. What's the process? But now, I would sort of like to suggest, and what I want to do here is to begin taking, utilizing the questions that have come to me and talking directly uh, about them in hopes to answer people's questions. And for, for yourselves, if you do have uh, questions to direct to me, please, please do so at uh, DuffySheridan.com. And I will do my best to afford you my own experience, which is, of course, just limited to myself. <laughs> but anyway, thank you.